Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and return worth having. When a man is busy working on his life, he is using all the marketing tools that are expected for his industry. The truth is today that most people who are trying to advance their lives into something else must understand that social media is an essential part of just about every business and every aspect of a small business economy. A small business economy is something that the United States President is clearly talking about. He is willing to support small business owners in different ways. We don't need to be coloring or segregating our businesses. What we do need to be paying attention to is who is coming into our employment and how are they behaving on the job. You see, most professions have standards of procedure. Standard operating procedures or SOPs is what most companies have. Those are based on training. The training that people are getting today is rather paltry. It's sort of why people are losing their employees today. If you look around any town, you'll see that many companies are hiring. Even in a college town, it's unbelievable that how many companies locally of national origin, national corporation standards are still hunting for employees. Part of it is that their HR directors are not liaisoning with the local community colleges or the local university to pull out some of the best of the best possibilities who need extra cash, who need money for preparing for their next purchase of a vehicle, who need the money to put together for their next travel after they finish school, or things like that. Who People who are already in indigent status in universities need to work. The challenge we have today is that there is no national birth certificate. And what that means is that people can lie, steal, and cheat others out of their rights. And openly can lie, steal, and cheat others out of their rights to be themselves. When we have a person presenting as they are, you don't fucking insult them saying, Oh, you're not that because I know what your genitalia look like. And I'm going to hit the topic today because we are in the month of pride. That month of pride belongs to every human being across America and around the world. And I get so motherfucking tired of having to remind these politicians that you signed yourself into a treaty back in what, 1964? Again, I'm numerically challenged. Look it up. It's called the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And what that means is that no one has a right to oppress someone else. We are the leaders of that frigging document. And who the hell are these teachers in different classrooms trying to put their opinions on someone else's child? How dare you think you have the right to do that? The whole celebration of the Christ movement is about letting the light of the Lord shine through any human being. Whether their body has defects or not is not your right to piss on. If you have a child with special needs, if you have a child with Down syndrome, if you have a child like my sister had in her school who was incredibly precious to the Lord, the little fellow didn't even have any ears. And I can't even remember what the rest of his troubles were, but he was well loved by the, the principal, who was a beautiful woman, not to mention by the other children in the school because of how she ran her business, how she ran the business of the school. If we have a man who is in well, let's face it, education. I hate to tell you this, brother, but you haven't provided for your family very well. You also haven't provided very well for your future retirement. And I'm not making fun of the fact that we desperately need male teachers. I'm just saying, my guess is you're not doing anything outside of your life other than commenting on other people's paltry children. No offense, but it's not your fucking right. When a child says, this is how I'm going to present myself at this time in my life, we celebrate that. Because we celebrate it because at some other time he might choose otherwise. But people of a community do not have the right to choose what the Lord has made in any individual. The Lord has made all souls. How dare you motherfuckers think that there aren't birth defects in the world when we clearly see it all around the world. That there are all kinds of things that go wrong in the womb. All kinds of things that go wrong in the human body. All kinds of things that can happen in someone's cellular felt. But don't you fucking think that you have the right to remodify, reverse, or do one fucking thing to these people in the world. They failed themselves, perhaps not discovering themselves early enough so that their situation might look a little different today. But that's not on them. That is on society's controls of trying to abuse and obliterate the Lord's presence in a person's life.